Are you ready for World War III yet? Pablo warned you three months ago, and now you have the top NATO commanders of the UK warning that now they might start doing conscription in the UK and in Australia. Are you ready to enlist for World War III yet? Right? There's been so much fake reporting that even guys like Tucker Carlson can't even get a interview with Putin without being called traitor by the mainstream media. The mainstream media's coverage on this has been what Trump calls your fake news. But Pablo is right here. Pablo is right here in the Middle East, right next to the action, bringing you the truth. So when is World War III starting? So we've seen that the Yemens have attacked a UK ship, right? The Rubimar and sunk it. Well, now the BBC's come out to say, no, it's been badly hit, right? People have abandoned the ship, but it's not fully sunk yet. This has been typical of Western reporting underplaying, underplaying this whole scenario. Why is the West doing this? That is because if the United States and UK admit that these targets were hit, major damage has been taken by British and American fleets, right, trying to supply Israel, then therefore the public will be so angry back at home that US and UK and NATO has no option but to go in in the Middle East right now. So it will no longer be a war by proxy like what's happening with Ukraine and Russia. It'll be physical confrontation in the Middle East. And that's something that the United States definitely, definitely does not want right now. Why is this? Because the United States knows more than anybody else that it won, it won World War I and World War II by coming in a full three years late into the war every time, right? And are you ready for conscription in the UK and Australia and the United States? Because see, World War I started in 1914. US didn't come in until the sinking of Lusitania, which is in 1917. And World War II started in 1939, but United States didn't come in until attack upon Pearl Harbor. Officially, it came in in 1942, and again, three years later. And as anyone who's played video games before, such as League of Legends, you know that you wait for all of your enemies and allies to be so tired that their HP or their health bar are so low, then you come in at the last stages, stages and clean it up and mop it up. That's the best way to fight these gang fights or world wars. And that's what the US did and how it won World War I and World War II. So of course, last thing Americans wanna do right now is to get stuck into another three year war in the Middle East right now, only for this massive big player to come in in three years time when everybody's tired and use the Americans own playbook on themselves. This was my video from three months ago predicting that North and South Korea would be the flashpoint in Asia. And it looks like North and South Korea are headed into war footing. For the real news, follow 